Corruption is a major problem for Malaysians. In 2020, Malaysia dropped six places in Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index, placing it 57th out of 180 countries. That same year, the Global Corruption Barometer for Asia revealed that 71% of Malaysians think government corruption is a big problem. What makes corruption so hard to fight is that it usually takes place behind closed doors. This is where whistleblowing can make a difference. Here's our quick guide to whistleblowing in Malaysia. What is whistleblowing? Generally, whistleblowing is when someone reveals private or classified information about someone within their circle, usually related to wrongdoing or misconduct. These people are known as whistleblowers. An example of when you might choose to whistleblow is if you see your boss paying a bribe to avoid some sort of punishment, or if you witness a school teacher accepting a bribe to raise a student's exam score. According to US research, whistleblowing might even be the single most effective way to uncover corruption. According to a 2020 study by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, 43% of schemes in 2020 were detected through tip-offs. Unfortunately, whistleblowing can be dangerous. Often, the people who are exposed by whistleblowers are powerful and influential individuals who are able to punish those who reveal their wrongdoing. This means that not only are the safety and livelihoods of whistleblowers at risk, but also those of their friends and family. This is why whistleblower protection is so important to fighting corruption. This protection is integral to encouraging more whistleblowers to come forward with information on criminal activity. In Malaysia, the Whistleblower Protection Act 2010 provides this protection. As a whistleblower, your identity is kept confidential. You have immunity from civil and criminal action for whistleblowing. You are protected from intimidation, harassment, and discrimination. Anybody who takes detrimental action against you for whistleblowing can be fined up to 100,000 ringgit and or imprisoned for up to 15 years. This protection also extends to anyone related to you, like your family members. So how can you become a whistleblower? If you have information about wrongdoing, such as corruption, and want to receive whistleblower protection, Follow these steps. Step 1. Identify the enforcement agency relevant to your information, such as the MECC, the police, the customs department, or immigration department, among others. Step 2. Contact the enforcement agency through email or phone call. Step 3. Inform the officer that you have confidential information to disclose and that you seek whistleblower protection so they can arrange for it. Step 4. Disclose your information to your assigned officer. Your information can be given in writing or orally. Whistleblowers are integral in the fight against corruption. If you have information on wrongdoing, you can make a difference.